Hey, Ollie. Steve, how's the picture? Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Super. Okay. Um, good morning. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, Steve. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back, Genius. Uh, obviously not the way that we had hoped we would be back to rugby, but nonetheless, we persevere. Rugby won't stop just because we can't see each other. Okay, uh, so we got 45 minutes of a session today. Uh, what we're going to be looking to do over the next five, six weeks is a bit of, we're going to look at a bit of progression stuff, give you a few challenges, uh, something to do over the, over the weeks to make sure that you're still invested in your rugby. Uh, there'll be some fitness challenge bits in our sessions here. Uh, we'll have our Wednesday session 6 at 6.45, here 11 to 11.45. And guys, I cannot state this enough. If you can, get out with your parents, throw a ball around, kick a ball around, run around like headless chickens in the cold. Keep yourself fit and active. Really important, okay? We can watch telly anytime. Okay, 45 minutes. Let's get ourselves going. A little warm-up exercise. So just a little bit of jogging on the spot. Ah, nice to be out in the nice, fresh, cold air this morning. Just going to open that gate. So leg goes forwards, then goes out. Forwards and out. Forwards and out. Now, guys, we will be doing a bit of passing. If you don't have a rugby ball, don't panic. Okay. We can do these exercises with any sort of ball or without one entirely. If you've got a football, if you've got a tennis ball, if you've got a cricket ball, if you've got a Satsuma or an Apple, not a PlayStation controller, as was mentioned earlier, they're quite expensive. I wouldn't throw that around. You don't want to break it. It's, it's a whole thing. Okay, let's close that gate. So the leg goes out to in, out to in. And if you haven't got any of those things, guys, you can do the entire thing without a ball. Okay. Rugby is about body language as much as it is anything. So if you can practice without a ball using the right techniques, you can practice with one. Last one on each side, closing that gate. Lovely. Okay. Just going to kick a slippers off here. Okay. Drive that foot through, sitting down and kicking the slippers off. Keep it going. Okay, lovely. Slippers kicked off. Slippers kicked off. Okay, just gonna just gonna roll the carpet out here. Okay, front leg goes straight, back leg's bent. Gonna sit down and roll that carpet out. Okay. Switching sides as well, so make sure you're switching your legs so that we're stretching out the muscles on both sides. Nice straight back, sitting down as low as we can. Great stuff. Hope you guys all had good Christmases and New Year's. Hope it was a nice time with your families, those that you were with. Sorry that we can't have our Sundays back at rugby, but it doesn't mean that we can't keep fit and active and make sure that when we come back to rugby, we're ahead of everybody else. Okay, what we got next? Nice little high kicks. Okay, so from here, guys, what we're looking for, well, it's high knees into high kicks, okay? So I'm going to give a high knee forward and a high knee to the side, okay? High knee forward, high knee to the side. Drive that knee forward to the side. Really drive that knee though. Really push it through. Brilliant. Okay, from here, we're gonna step it up a little bit. So we're gonna go high knee to the front, to the side, and a high kick to the front, and a high kick to the side. Switching legs. Now that kicking leg, we want to try and get that leg as straight as we can, okay? So straight leg, straight as we can, okay? Good, 
Good stuff. Last one on each side. Last one on each side. Good stuff. Last one on this side. There we go. Lovely. Okay. A little bit of lunging. Nice little forward lunge. So that back knee almost touching the ground, but not quite. We're not down here. We're not kneeling for someone. We're not proposing. We'll come to that later in your life. Coming back. Nice little squat downs. Nice little lunges. Okay, we also want a strong tummy and a straight back. Okay. So if you find that you're overstretching too far and you're losing your balance, take a smaller step. Okay. Smaller steps are fine. Couple more on each side. And lovely, good. Nice bit of lunging. And we got a little sumo. Okay, so what we're gonna do, squatting nice and low. Just gonna lift that right leg up, squatting back down, lifting the left leg up to the side, to the right, to the left. And keep it going. So listen to my breathing. You see, I breathe as I stand up and kick out. I'm using breath to offer power. Good stuff. Lovely. What do we got next? A little bit of bum kick. Let's get some bum kicking going. Whew. I hope you guys are outside as well. What about you? I'm getting nice and warm already. Bum kick's good. Now some high knees. Good stuff. Okay, warm up's done. Well, almost. Okay. We are moving on to our one, two, three, four game. So this game requires jogging on the spot and jogging on the spot engaged. So we're not looking for jogging on the spot here. I'm looking for strong engaged jogging on the spot. That's a nice locked in tummy, proud chest and leaning just slightly forward. It means I'm engaged in the exercise. Okay, I'm just gonna take my, take my hoodie off quickly. Okay, so I'll go through the calls with everyone. If I call number one, we go 90 degrees to the left. If I call two, we go 90 degrees to the right. If I call three, scoring a try in between the legs. If I call four, just jumping as high as you can, ball up to the sky. If I call down, we're down for a burpee. If I call ready, it's nice quick feet. And if I call hit, it's one step forward, one step back. Okay, we're gonna do three sets here. In between each set, we're gonna do a little exercise. Okay, who's ready? I am. That was just me, I just did a high pitch one for you. Okay, here we go. On the spot, nice engaged jogging. Nice strong body position, here we go. So one, it's left 90 degrees. Two, three, touching the ground to the, ball to the ground. Four, nice big jump. Down, and for a burpee, and ready. We got quick feet, quick, quick, quick feet. Hit, one step forward, one step back. Okay, I'm gonna start mixing up a little bit here. Two, three, one, one, four, Two, ready, hit, hit, three, two, one, three, down, and hit, good, okay, pause down for this one, 
we're going to do 20 jumping jacks. So jumping jacks are here, hands meet in the middle, legs out wide, straight arms, back down to your side. As soon as you've finished, back into jogging on the spot, ball back in your hands if you've got one. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 jumping jacks. Lovely way to start the day. Eighteen, ninety, twenty, and ball back up, and we're jogging on the spot. Okay. So that was round one. I want a little easy on you. You know, it's the first session back. Don't want to put too much on you. So I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit for round two on my calls. Let's see how fast you guys are. Let's see if you can keep up. Three, four, one. Two, two, three, four, four. Oh no, four's a jump. That's my fault. Down. Four. And hit. One. One. Two. Three. Two. 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 One. Two. Three, down, keep going guys, hit, four, hit, good stuff, okay, exercise number two, 15 seconds of high knees, are we ready, three, two, stay engaged, keep moving, three, two, one, here we go, high knees. Drive those knees forwards, okay? Fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to jogging, keep moving guys. Really good effort, keep it going. Keep moving. We are on to our last set. Okay, so I'm gonna really pick the pace up and try and not confuse myself by doing the wrong thing. Although maybe that's a good challenge. We'll come to that later. Okay, pace is going up. Here we go. Three, four, two, one, one, two, hit. Ready? One, three, two, keep it up. Two, three, two, four, two, two, three, down, four, down, four, hit. Almost there. One, two, three, three, four, and hit. Okay, ball down last. 10 seconds, quick 10 seconds of sprinting, nice fast feet. And then we get a breather. Three, two, one, and fast feet, here we go. Lock in that tummy, nice strong core. Move those feet as quick as you can on your toes. Three, two, one. Get yourself some water, brilliant start. Lovely. Woo. Hopefully that's shaking some of your Christmas cobwebs out. Okay. Brilliant. So, as I mentioned at the start, we're going to be offering some, you know, some progressive work with our ball handling and passing stuff, much like we did last time. Uh, but we're going to be trying to give a bit more in terms of your physical challenges and your fitness challenges during these sessions and also something to try at home afterwards as well. Remember, these sessions are here to help on a Sunday, but they're also to encourage you to make sure that this is not the only exercise that you do. OK, we're starting to reach an age where rugby gets a little bit more serious. Doesn't mean that we can't have fun, but being fit's the important bit. If we're not fit, we're not able. OK, so. We're just going to move on to a little bit of animal walking. 
because we want to strengthen up our core muscles here a little bit. Going to chuck in a little, little bit of ball handling work. And then we got a quick 10 minute fitness challenge followed by a little bit of agility. Hopefully we can squeeze it all in. If we run over by a couple of minutes. No, you guys are welcome. <laughs> now, hopefully we can squeeze it all in. Okay, so we're going to start with our bear crawls. Nice and low, nice and strong. Onto our hands and knees. And I want your knees off the ground and bum below your shoulders. This is not about speed. This is about control, okay? Start with control, you build speed in afterwards. Okay, so bear crawl, we're gonna take three steps forwards, three steps forwards, and then three steps back. Okay, keep that bum nice and low. Keep the bum low, keep the shoulders strong, back straight, and let's keep moving. Keep moving, three steps forward, three steps back. Keep going, keep that bum low, keep that back strong. Three, two, one, and stop there. Brilliant. Okay, next we're moving on to our kangaroo jumps. Nice and strong here. Guys, I know the names are a bit kiddie, but I don't want you to think about the names of what we're doing. I want you to think about what it does for your body. Okay. So we're going to move on to our kangaroo jumps here. Squatting nice and low. Nice big jump forward here. Okay. What I'm not looking for here is a running jump. Okay. We're building strength by pushing off from a standstill position. Okay. Nice big jump forward. And when we get to the other end, we're not squatting down nice and low. We're locking our feet in. Okay. Kangaroo jumps. Turn and go. Turn and jump. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Keep it going. Good stuff. Keep moving. Keep moving. See how far you can jump. I like to give myself a little tape measure to see how far I can jump to see if I improve. So I'm using the edge of the Astro. See if I can jump further every week. Last couple of jumps. Last one, and then we move on to our next walk. Brilliant. Okay, we are on to crab walk. So our crab walk, what I'm looking for is our bums to get a little bit lower. So we're sitting down, nice straight back, nice strong chest. Okay, and we're going to walk two steps to the right and then two steps to the left, but in our sitting position, okay? Crab walking. Here we go. Ready? So sit myself down and go. So two steps to the right and two steps to the left. And repeat. Let's just keep it going. Two steps to the right, two steps to the left. Sitting as low as you can. Okay, if we go up here, we're not really working anything. We're not ex We're not working our muscles. We've got to get low. We've got to feel a little bit of a burn on your bum, on your hamstrings, on your glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Excellent. Okay. Last one here. We're going to move on to our gorilla walks. Okay. So. Gorilla walks, nice and simple. We're back into our sumo, hands between our legs. What I'm going to do, all of my power, I'm going to jump to the left. All of my power, jump to the right. Okay, keep going. Keep moving. Three, two, one. And stop there, grab some water. Brilliant stuff. Okay, let's move over to our, sorry, covering the camera, my fault. Those of you may not know, I've unfortunately had some tripod issues. So uh, apologies for the makeshift setup. Now, guys, if you've got a partner with you, 
if you've got a parent, if you've got a brother, sister, anyone, this is the time to grab them. If you don't, don't fret. You can always find a friend. For example, a wall, a turned up bench. Now, don't use the wall inside. Make sure you're letting people know because we don't want to upset people. Uh, make sure you're being safe. But the wall means that no matter what, we can always do our passing exercises with or without somebody being with us. But saying that, it's nice to do it with someone, isn't it? Okay, so a couple of things I'm looking for here. I think we've covered some of these things before, but there's no harm in going back over old ground. So looking for a nice flat pass here. Now, the reason I like doing this against a wall is because you have to react to the wall and it's not like receiving a normal pass. If I pass the ball here, the ball doesn't necessarily come back to my hands. Sometimes I've got to respond a little differently. That's why I like the wall. But we've also got to know, learn to pass to a target, which is why it's nice to pass with people. So anyway, sorry, I'm sidetracked. So two hands on the ball, middle of the ball, two thumbs up in the middle, okay? This is important for our push pass. It's good technique. We've got to learn it early. Okay, now two things that I'm looking for here. I'm gonna be passing across my body with my left hand as my strong hand, okay? So when I pass this across my body, there's two things I'm looking for. I want you to look at my fingertips and I want you to listen to my breathing, okay? So you're here with my breathing, there's a big, what I say with the younger kids, I call it the big bad wolf pass. It's essentially you huff and you puff and you blow the pass out of your mouth, okay? You're using your breath to provide power, okay? Second thing is my fingertips. When I finish my pass, my fingertips are pointing in the direction that I want the ball to go. So my fingertips, if I'm passing to one of my teammates, should be pointing at my teammate or in front of my teammate, depending on how fast you move. Okay, so what I want you to do, just practicing off one hand, we're just going to do a little bit of passing off one hand. I'm not going to give you a number of passes to do. We're just going to do a minute or so passing off one side. So I'm going to pass off my left hand here. Ball in two hands. Two thumbs up, fingers, tips pointing in the direction of pass and breathing out as we pass heavily. Okay, let's go. There we go. Good stuff. Lovely. See, that's why I like the wall, because I have to respond. Remember this passing, as I say, this is something you can do anywhere, anytime, provided whoever's wall you're passing it off knows that you're doing it beforehand, because I'm sure it can be very annoying. Okay, let's keep it going. A little bit more off this side. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to switch sides. So if you like me, we're just passing off with your strong hand. So I'm left handed. So that was my strong hand. Now we're going to pass off the other side. So we're passing off our weaker hand. Okay. So forgive me for turning my back on you. I don't quite have the setup to, uh, to 360 this sort of a show, but I will next week. I promise you. Okay. So from this side, same thing. Fingertips pointing where I want to pass. Big bad wolf breath, breathing out heavily to bring power to my pass, okay? So one thing I want you to think about as well, you guys keep passing, just listen to me as we go, is I want you to think a little bit about your elbows with this pass, okay? So sometimes we can sort of loop the ball down to up. So what I want you to think about with this pass a little bit more is your elbow staying high and pushing that ball through. Okay, so elbows high and just pushing through, so not low to high. Okay, keep passing, just give that a little try and just see what that does to your body language. Okay, and also see what it does to the power of your pass. I'd be interested to see and hear what happens afterwards from a bit of feedback, hopefully from you guys and your parents.
Okay, so elbows bent, keep them high. And not passing low to high. Keep it going. A little bit longer with a pass and a little bit longer. And let's hold there. Okay. So that's our passing from hand. Apologies, guys. There we go. Lovely. So from here, we're just going to move on to passing off the ground. Okay. So the premise has to be the same in terms of our breathing, our handling of the ball, and what happens with our fingertips when we're passing from the ground. So even if I'm passing from the deck, which happens sometimes, even if you're a prop, you pick up the ball from the base of the ruck. Second rows, flankers, number eight, whichever position you play, everybody has to pick the ball up off the ground and pass sometimes. So that's why this is a good practice. So what I don't want to see when we're picking up the ball from the ground is straight legs, standing straight and passing. What I want to see is good body position. So squatting down nice and low, going down to meet the ball and passing through there. My knees are bent. I've got a nice, strong foundation. OK, I'm using my core strength, which is what we use these sessions to build up a little bit. OK, so passing off the strong hand again, ball on the ground, sort of a scrum half pass. OK, ready? So let's go. There we go. Two hands on the ball, thumbs up, fingertips, fingertips, breathing. Keep practicing. Keep practicing, let's go. Ball back down. Remember, we're spending our knees, we're going to meet the ball. We're not, we're doing the work here, the ball's not. We do the work to meet the ball, and we use our power to make the ball do the work for us with the pass. There we go. Oh, lovely, got that. Brilliant. Last couple on your strong side, or whichever side you're working on, and we're gonna switch it, switch it around. Nice and low. Nice and low. Oh, that was a crazy one. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Whoa. Keep it going. A little bit more practice time. We got to get used to that ball in our hands again. What it feels like to pass, to catch, to move. Me included, as you can tell from some of these passes. <laughs> Keep it going. Last couple of this side. Last couple of this side. And stop there. And grab a little sip of water. Grab a couple of sips of water. Okay. <sighs> So here's what's going to happen, guys. We are going to start. We call this a little bit of a pyramid scheme. Some of you might have done this with me before. Uh, but we're going to try and put this into a six-week challenge. Okay? So what we've got here, we're going to go through all of these exercises. But we're going to start here. So one, we're going to start with jumping jacks. We're going to have a little breather. We'll move on to jumping jacks followed by squats. And we just keep going. Then we have a breather. Then we do jumping jack squats and burpees. Little breather, jumping jack squats, burpees and high knees. And then onto the last one as well for the last set. So we're doing five sets of exercises, but we're adding an exercise on each time. Okay, we're gonna do five today. And over the next six weeks, we're either gonna add an exercise or we're gonna add an, a bit of extra time onto how much we're doing. Okay, because for me, I wanna see progress from you guys in terms of your fitness levels and what you can handle. And the hope is that when we get back to rugby, you guys will be fitter for it. Okay, so I'm just going to go through how to do the exercises first and foremost. Let me just get us set back up in our exercise area, which is not the same as our passing area. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to leave our board at the back here. 
Hopefully some of you guys can see that. So our jumping jacks we've already been through. Our jumping jacks, I don't want lazy jumping jacks. I don't want lazy ones here. I want nice big strong ones. Arms up to the top, feet out as far as you can and back into the middle, okay? We're gonna do 15 seconds and then have a 15 second breather. Squats, nice and simple guys, but I want technique to be really strong here. Parents, get yourselves involved, but guys, Look at each other, make sure your technique's good. Don't be afraid to tell your parents that their technique's off. And parents, obviously, vice versa with your kids. So nice squat. We want our bum in line with our knees. We want a nice straight back and a nice strong chest, and then back up. Burpees, simple stuff, okay? We're nice and low here. We're kicking our feet out. If you want a challenge, pop yourself down for a press up, feet back up, then a nice big jump, okay? And repeat, burpees, high knees, simple stuff. Knees out in front, drive those knees. Nice proud chest and strong tummy. Okay, and the last one, knee to elbow. It's like a standing sit up. Hands behind your head, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Okay, last sip of water, because we're getting going. Everybody ready? I'm gonna talk us through it as we go. But guys, remember, 100%. I don't care what it looks like. I just want to know that you're giving it. Okay. Three, two, one. And we're jumping jacks for 15 seconds. Two, one. And stop there. 15 second break. I'm going to take this time to jump shoelace properly. So this time, jumping jack straight into squats afterwards for 15 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Jumping jacks, 15 seconds, followed by 15 seconds of squats. Keep it going, guys. And switch into squats, here we go. Nice technique. Keep that back straight, that chest strong. We're sitting down nice and low. Bum in line with our knees. Three, two, one. Have a breather. Two out of five sets done. We are moving up. Jumping jacks, squats, and burpees. Starting in three, two, one. And let's go. Here we go. Keep working, guys. Remember, not lazy jumping jacks. Arms all the way up to the middle. Two, one, and into squats, straight into squats. Good technique, guys. Bum in line with your knees, straight back, strong chest. Three. Two, one, and we're going into burpees. Into burpees, 15 seconds. Keep it going, three, two, one, and stop. Little breather. Three out of five, we've got two to go. Guys, excellent work, keep going. Set four, we are adding high knees. In three, two, one, let's go. Fantastic effort, guys. Let's work off that Christmas turkey. Let's work off the mince pies, the pudding. Pigs in blankets. Two, one, and onto squats. Let's work off that nut loaf for those vegetarians out there. You don't need to work off the Brussels sprouts. They, uh, they work off of you, unfortunately. Such is life. Keep it going. Nice, good body position. Three, two, one, and we are into burpees. 
Keep it going. Three, two, one. And we have straight into high knees. Let's work hard, guys. Three, two, one. And stop there. We've lost your video there, Ollie. Sorry to be back. Okay. Last set coming up, guys. We're adding knee to elbow. This is the big five. Ooh. That is a toughie. Ready in three, two, one, and let's go. The high five. 15 seconds of each. Remember, even though we're tired, we're pushing to make sure our technique's good, that we're putting our effort into our exercises. One, and into squats. Fantastic effort, guys. Four exercises to go, one minute. That's what I'm looking for here for this set. Three, two, one, and we're into our burpees. Three, two, one, and we got our high knees. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Two, one, and last bit. Knees to elbows. Five, four, three, two, one, and grab some water. Brilliant effort, guys. Ooh. Oh, we blitzed through that. That was fantastic. What a great effort. Oh. Guys, as you're getting water, pop off and grab your rugby ball. We're going to need it for our last little section. Okay. So, guys, guys a couple of nice simple games. Uh, we're just going to work on a little bit of ball handling. So when you're ready, water down, ball in hand. I just want you to pass the ball around your head going in one direction. Okay. So ball around the head. I try not to try not to flop over when we do this again. Sort of the same premise with our one, two, three, four game. Be engaged. Have your body engaged in the exercise. And let's switch direction. Body is engaged in the exercise. Perfect, okay. That was around the head. Just gonna go around the waist now. So waist one direction. Now guys with these, you may, you've heard me give the message before if I work with your age group. Step one is to learn the exercise. If you don't do much of this, take it slow to start with until you learn it, nice and slow. Once you start to learn it, then we move on to step two and that's excelling at the exercise. That's when we pick up the pace a little bit. Pace here, okay? Now switch direction. So step one, start nice and slow, find your rhythm. Find your rhythm. And step two, that's when we start to pick up the pace a little bit. Or throw the ball behind you, for example, when you find your rhythm. Keep it going. 
Okay, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, take a few steps forwards and a few steps back as you do this. Okay, so movement of the ball in your hands. Brilliant. Okay, next bit. Knees together, feet together, sitting down nice and low. We're going to pass the ball around one direction. Keep that back as straight as you can. Push out your chest. Chest is nice and strong. And switching directions, switching direction. Oh, that is a toughie, isn't it? And standing, good stuff. Okay, our classic basketball one, so feet slightly further apart. Okay, what we're going to do is going to pass the ball through the legs, ball through the legs. Okay, basketball skills, usual stuff, but basketball transitions so well into rugby because they have to have such good ball handling ability and change direction. So if you were going forwards, you're sort of going backwards through the legs now. Again, trying to keep that back nice and straight as we go through. Body position is key here. Brilliant, and stop there. Okay, last little exercise. Okay, it's called, oh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called clock score. Okay, so we've got a circle around us. Imagine you've got a clock face around you, so 12 o'clock in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six o'clock is behind you. Seven, eight, nine o'clock to your left, 10, 11. Okay. Really simple premise. I call a number. We step over to there. Okay, so ball in your hands, but we don't have to do anything. We're just stepping over to the clock. Okay, so if I call 12 o'clock, it's a step forward and a step back to the center. If I call three o'clock, step to the right, back to the center. Let's give it 45 seconds. Let's see what we can do. Okay, 10 o'clock, two o'clock, six o'clock. Three o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11. I'm going to stop saying o'clock. Six, four, five, eight, nine, 12, three, six, nine, six, three, eight, 12. Two, four, ten, and twelve. Good stuff. Okay, last one. Same thing, but we're scoring a try this time. So if I call twelve, step forward, score that try, and step back. Okay, this is forty-five seconds. Your last bit. A little warm down. Work hard in this 45 seconds, just like the last 45 seconds of a game. Okay, here we go. 45 on the clock. 12, three, one, 11, eight, four, keep going, 10, 12, six, three, six, 12, one, keep moving, five, eight, 11, three, six, I went to nine, six, last 10 seconds, 12, three, four, and 12. Lovely stuff, really nice. Brilliant, guys. Balls down. Hands behind your head. Breathe in deep through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay. Cross your left foot over your right. Reach down and touch your toes.
and standing back up and switch the legs. So right foot over the left foot and down. And back up. And now hands behind your back, interlock your fingers so that your palms are facing your back. Bend your knees really slightly and lean forwards and try and push your arms as straight and as far back as you can. Relax your neck. And stand. Ah, guys, that is it for today's session. Thank you very much, those that are signing on. Brilliant to see you. As you can see, I need a new bubble hat. New year, new hat. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing any of you on Wednesday, 6 till 6.45, for a stretching, strengthening, conditioning session. And then every Sunday as we carry on until this lockdown ends, hopefully. Uh, thanks again. Cheers, Stu. And uh, see you guys next week. Good session. Thanks a lot, Ollie. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.